Democratic Party PDP Governors Forum has listed uh, Governor Yesenwike of River State, his Oyo State and Benue State counterpart Shea Makinde and Samuel Otom for honours as it prepares to send forth outgoing members as, and, as well as welcome Governors-elect. The Director General PDP Governors Forum CI Madubum uh, in a statement in Abuja yesterday said other former and outgoing governors were also to be honoured for their contributions to the party in particular and the nation in general. He said, and I quote, the PDP Governors Forum under the leadership of Aminu Tambuwal is organising a welcome reception of the PDP Governors-elect to send forth the past uh, Governors Forum chairman scheduled for May 11, 2023 in Abuja. Well, joining us to discuss this and more is John Schreib, a member of the People's Democratic Party, PCC. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, John. Good evening. Thank you very much for having me again. Great. Um, a screaming headline, if you ask me, of course. Um, these are two or uh, three of the G5 governors, and we all remember very vividly um, um, how these people continuously, day after day, made headlines, and not necessarily for the right things in terms of the PDP, um, but they seem to have been standing their grounds and somewhat working against the PDP. Um, does, is there no disciplinary, uh, rather disciplinary committee put in place to deal with um, these governors as opposed to those who were disciplined within the party, or is the PDP going to let this slide as usual? Well, uh, good evening once again. Um, well, I must say to our PDP family, the Southwest uh, Vice Chairman that uh, passed on a few days ago, uh, we say may God comfort the family that it can give Gandhi the fortitude to bear the loss. And the party also has lost the gem in him. Having said that, you know, when we want to talk about uh, PDP and uh, the five, the so-called five, for us stakeholders, we're, we're so pain to have uh, such men who have benefited immensely from the PDP platform, who, who have now turned themselves into renegades, I call them, sincerely before the election and after election, they seem not to let this team down. And this is very disheartening to say for the truth. I would say that uh, probably they are on the headline for the right reason or not. I believe most of their acts when it comes to the party for me has not been for the right reasons. In their own whatever domain, it could be for right reason, but for us in PDP, it's not for the right reason. But there are many, I'm so sorry, John, I'm so sorry to talk over you, but there are many people who still support the move <clears throat> that was made by the G5 governor, saying that the PDP in itself were the ones who started this zoning agreement ever, even before the APC got the light of day or became, became a party. Uh, and, and then all of a sudden, they decided to take a back seat on the issue that they had set, an agenda that they had set. And this is why these G5 governors became a thing. Okay, so can I say that because you see this in fact this on its own is an issue that the G five that culprits they are also liable to whatever they are accusing the party for. To tell you the five of them were actually brave behind the zoning, not zoning, micro zoning as it were, to the southeast or northeast as it were. Because what they did was Guanyi and Co. Autumn and Co. were in that committee that said PDP cannot afford to zone. They should throw the ticket open. And Governor Wiki, some years back, I think in 2020, came out categorically and said we cannot afford to zone. And in that wise, what did Wiki do as their head boy? What he did was to ensure that he brought his men together, they removed secondus brought Ayu from the north so he can play his game. And to tell you that that was a selfish move, Governor, uh, what's it called? President Goodluck was from the south-south. So why would Wiki want to be the president after uh, uh, President Jonathan? Why could it have been microzone to probably northeast, uh, southeast? So you can see they played their hands and then they got beaten. 
Now, when the ticket was thrown open, what happened? Atiku came in into the game and he won it. He won it. And what did the G5 decide to do? They decided to play the hand of Esau in all this. And this is what we're getting from these men who have turned themselves into, into what I call uh, ants that have been eating the, 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 the good parts of, of, of the party and turning themselves into the righteous, which of course they are not. And to tell you that these men are just after themselves, you see the hand they play during the presidential election. We can went to APC. We supported the APC. Did all you could for the Abadoist to get the t to, to, to win. And look at what Autumn did. Look at what she did in Oyo. And for us, and for us in PDP, it's it's it just it's just a game the way they played their hands. They were beaten, but yet they want to blame the party for not doing the right thing. But Nigerians are feel that the party is not or did not do the right thing during the presidential. They should hold Ricky and Co responsible. Interesting, but well, it doesn't look like the party is holding or there will be any sort of disciplinary action taken oh, against. There will him. be. There will be. Sorry for cutting you short. Okay. There will be because number one, we but your party you is but you your party court. is honouring them. How do you how do you take a disciplinary action no, see, late in the day after instance, you are honouring them, not just for their okay. support and their work in the party, but also to, to what they for, for what they've done in their state and the country at large? Uh, make it make sense. Okay, let me put it this way. The Governor's Forum is for the governors. It's basically organized by the Governor's Forum. But it's done under the auspices of the People's the Democratic Party Governor's Forum. So the party, so the party yes. does have an, uh, its coloring on it, doesn't it? It has its coloring. You know why? You know why it has coloring and the idea called them? The party, being what it is, decided that, look, let's bring everybody together. And why are they bringing them together? Because they're not be suspended or expelled from the party. So, in court, they carry the, the, the toga of PDP on their head or around their neck. So, they, they, they should be part of it. But no one expected them that God didn't expect to see them because, for me, I will say category that's about two us. You know, I don't expect them to have been there. They have been there. I would have been so surprised. Do you, you understand? So, for me, uh, it's not the party will actually, and we're holding them responsible. I expect the party to, by now, will have, should have done something about them, but I don't know in their own wisdom why they are waiting. Probably they are waiting for the court case to, to get to the end, to be, you know, to be seen to the end. That's why they have not taken their step, the step. But I believe, and I know, the PDP that I know will discipline them hmm. at the right time. You sound to me more like you're not um, in support of Shei Makinde and the Governor Wiki and the rest of them. Um, being honoured by the Governor's Forum. And you also don't sound like you're a fan of them still staying within the party. But it looks like they're here to stay. Um, so what, it, what, what so are your you thoughts? Ask, if, if you ask me, sincerely, they have no value. For me, right now, they have no value in the party. They have no value at all. And for me, you say, I'm so disappointed in somebody like Shane. I'm so disappointed in him because I thought he was a little savvy and probably, uh, you know, level-headed. But I didn't know he was going to be towing the line of Wiki directing the And it's so absurd to see governors, you know, pandering to one man who is also a governor. It's so absurd. Now for Shehi to have played his hand during the presidential election, and we saw what happened during the, for that APC got the vote there. And to what end? And these are the same men that are running after the Chinobu. Now, you can see that they are actually, they actually do not want Atiku to win that election. And also, they never wanted PDP to even win it. Why? Because they want Chinobu to, I don't know what game they played around there, but they wanted the Chinobu. There was no kind of, you know, Persuasion that Atiku have done or anyone would have done because they made up their mind. They know where they were going right before the game started, the, the, the election started. So for, for me, I, them being in the party is, is of no use. Anti-party for me is anti-party. Hmm. Anti-party is anti-party. So they must be disciplined for that. And I am expecting, I'm expecting the party to stand up. If we have 100 people left 
let them be committed members, not this half in, half out men. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, Sheima Kide, if, if you ask me, you should better defect now. Let us know we don't have you as a government in PDP. Because he came on the platform of PDP to become who he is today. And he, he was given on the part of gold when he left the, the party world, I think it's LDP, and he came to, to PDP. He was given that ticket. So today, he, 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 sab he, he sabotaged the party. He got his ticket. We lost the presidency in Oyo State. So uh, to what use is it to the party? And I'm, I'm hearing... But he's still a PDP governor that, in Oyo State. Uh, but, uh, we, we, as members, uh, we, as members, don't see, we see him as APC. That's the truth. If I, come, if I meet him today, I'll tell him he's an APC man. So we're only waiting for the day he will leave the party. Okay. Because we cannot have them, we cannot have them in the party and have them destroying the party within. So it's better they leave. Those that left before left, they were not in the party and destroying them. And for them to be carrying them on, as see without them, the party can't carry on. They will leave. Okay. And we can't, the party so we will survive, we will be stronger without them in the party. Finally, um, you said a lot of things, and you said that you know they got their hands burned uh, during the um, presidential primaries, and then of course that's when they started strategizing. Um, but what we what you've what we, you've analysed tonight, it looks like it was a win-win for the G5 governors, if you ask me. I mean, they won. They made sure they won their seats in in the different states, or won their candidates. Um, seats in their different states and then whoever they were supporting during the presidential election they also ensured that that happened and they're still in the party and the party is celebrating them it looks to me that they no. won and the party lost they, they didn't win autumn lost his entire ticket he lost his entire ticket right and that for me is a loss if Pelzo also lost his own ticket was beating black and blue as a sitting governor, right? Now, for we all know what happened in River State. The kind of violence that went by in River State for Wiki to get his own man in. And that for me shows that there's a, people rejected them. People were not in support of them. And we also saw what happened during the governor, governorship election. If not for the fact that the violence that went by, that went, that, 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 uh, that we saw, I believe they wouldn't have won. Because, you see, we, we, can, we can and co arrogated so much power to themselves and so much relevance, forgetting that the people are also thinking. The people are also wise okay. to know who they choose. But by the time you go the other way, you know what it means. But well, for me, I will say this before one minute. I would like to say this. This man should leave the party. They should be disciplined. I call on the leadership of the party to discipline them, expel them from the party. Okay. Because they have no value to us. Okay. All right. Well, I want to say thank you. Unfortunately, that's our time. John Schreiber is a member of the People's Democratic Party, PCC. Always a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. All right. And yeah. that's the show tonight. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, you can play catch up on all our previous episodes on Plus TV Africa on our YouTube channel. Go subscribe and play catch up. I'm Mary Anakon. Do have a pleasant weekend. See you on Monday.